Now, when you're working with a framework like Vue or React, it's very common that you may want to set up some dynamic classes. Now, in this example that I have here, we are using Vue along with Tailwind, and we have a button, and within this button, we have a span that is basically just responsible for styling our text content within that button. Now, what I have set up on here is a dynamic class to go ahead and set the text color of this span based on a variable called text color. And we can find this variable right here inside of our script and by default this is set to red. So with that being said, we would expect our text color here to be set to red, but as you can see, it is actually set to black. Now, if we go and inspect this button, you can see that if we look at the span, the class of text red 500 is being applied or is added to the span, but the text color is still black. Now, the reason why this isn't working as we would expect is because of the way that Tamwin extracts class names from the source files. So what it does is it looks for complete unbroken strings within our file. And if we're using things like string interpolation or parse class names with concatenation, then Tamlin's not going to see these in our file and therefore it's not going to generate the correct CSS that we need. And because we are using string interpolation to define our text color, Tamlin is never going to know that we actually want to use the class of text red 500. So now that we have an understanding of how that works, there are a few different ways that we can implement dynamic classes with Tailwind. And usually how I handle this is by creating what are called color variants. So what I do is create a new variable called color variants, and then I define it as an object with different keys for each one of my variants. And as you may have noticed, by just adding this color variants property and saving it, our button now has the correct text color. If we click on that, we should also have green. Now, the reason why this is working without doing anything else is because these class names now exist inside of our file. Now, although this does actually work as we have it, this is not the correct way to actually implement the color variant. So what we wanna do is navigate down to where we have the dynamic class, and then we wanna remove our string interpolation for this class as this is not something that you wanna do as we learned with Tailwind. So instead what we can do is we can reference our color variants and then we can use our variable that we have defined of text color to reference the correct variant based on the variable of text color. And on our color variance property, we can select the correct key by just passing in our variable of text color like this. And then to fix that TypeScript error that we're seeing, we can just properly type out our text color variable to either be red or green. And if we save that, then that should fix our TypeScript issue. And now we have the proper way to apply dynamic classes when using Tailwind with frameworks like Vue or React.